welcome back. So I know that um, I took a week off. Sorry, I was in um, Las Vegas for a conference, and there was like some really crazy things that happened in Las Vegas. If you um, don't follow me on Facebook, I have a business Facebook page. Um, it's right now Dr. Steph Wellness Solutions, but we are rebranding to a group practice. So we're going to soon, well, we are now officially Texoma Specialty Counseling, but um, Facebook hasn't shown that new name yet. Um, we're trying to change it and it takes some time. But if you don't follow us there, head over and like the page because I talked a lot about the Vegas trip and like some of the crazy stuff that happened. Um, Vegas is an interesting town. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about, um, in, of course, eating disorders. Y'all know that's what I like to talk about and how it's not always about weight. An eating disorder doesn't always look like a person who is too thin or overweight. In fact, sometimes someone sometimes someone may look, um, I'm not talking well. Sometimes a person may look like they have a normal, healthy weight, um, and it's more about their relationship with food, how they feel when they eat, how they feel after eating, how they feel about their body, and what is their desire to be thin or fit. I think we have this idea that somebody with anorexia looks emaciated and very thin, and that's not always true. Sometimes even a person with anorexia can be a healthy weight. Um, or and, and we live now in a society where thinness is kind of um, like praised and um, valued. And a person may have anorexia and look sort of fit and thin. And then we think, oh, wow, that person looks really great. And... Um, they are secretly suffering on the inside. So, you know, some things to think about for um, having an eating disorder are what is the relationship with food? How do they eat? What um, What is their behavior like or their feelings like when it comes to eating? Do they want to eat alone? Um, are they a picky eater? Um, how do they feel about their body? Do they like their body? Do they feel insecure? But the the message behind this video is that weight doesn't always mean a person has an eating disorder or just because someone isn't too thin or overweight um, doesn't mean that they don't have an eating disorder. So I think some things to think about for um, it is just ask questions. And if you don't know, there's some really great resources out there like the um, National Association of Eating Disorders. They have a screening tool with a bunch of questions. Well, it's not a bunch of questions. It's just like 10 or so um, questions that can help you or decide if you or a loved one may have an eating disorder and what you need to do to get help. Um, if you need to be in a facility or if you can be okay um, with an outpatient therapist. So I'm going to put the link to that assessment here. Um, but just remember, thinness doesn't mean an eating disorder and um, that someone's weight doesn't mean that they don't have an eating disorder. It, it, it's, it's more about how that person feels about themselves. And a lot of times, no one, it, people aren't going around admitting they have an eating disorder. They, you know, it's, they're, they're ashamed, they're embarrassed. So they suffer silently and they're not talking about it. So it can go unsaid for a really long time and can have some pretty devastating health consequences. So if you think that you're struggling with how you eat, you think you're struggling with your body, check out the assessment tool. It's free and see where you're at. And as always, feel free to ask me any questions. Send me messages, send me emails. You can contact me through here. You can contact me on my website. But um, I would love to help you um, with any questions you have, point you to some resources, point you to some help. 
If you found this video helpful, please share it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. I'm posting videos all the time, and I do talk a lot about just eating disorders, anxiety, um, body positivity. So hopefully you or someone you love can sort of get something out of these videos. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye.